filmmaker Alicia Kovalenko now shoots with a gun instead of her camera. When Russia invaded Ukraine in February, she volunteered to fight on the Eastern Front. She says she was outraged about the invasion and flooded with memories of a sexual assault she survived eight years ago. After it was 2014, I promised that uh, if uh, war will like grow up and it will like cover all Ukraine, then I will like I will fight. Uh, not with my camera, but with a gun. Kovalenko said she was working on a film in the Donetsk region in 2014 when she was stopped at a separatist checkpoint, interrogated, and accused of being a sniper. <sighs> she alleges a Russian officer tried to rape her. I was not afraid of anything after it. It's like it was the highest level of like fear. And even when I went to the war, I didn't have this, like, uh, I was not so afraid about war. Russian authorities did not immediately respond to requests for comment about her account. Moscow regularly denied sending troops to separatists at the time and has dismissed sexual violence allegations by its forces as lies and propaganda. Kovalenko has now spent months under shelling on the front line far from her husband and young son in France. She also lost a close friend. You feel like it's somebody from your family who died. Um, so for me it was uh, yeah, the yeah, most terrible experience in my life. Moscow calls the invasion a special military operation to demilitarize its neighbor and root out nationalists. Ukraine and its Western allies say that is a baseless pretext for an unprovoked war of aggression.